The parking lot at Maryville, Indiana's Planned Parenthood was nearly empty today. The clinic, the only one providing abortion services to women in northwest Indiana, is now, along with all others in the state, banned from performing the procedure. And yet, a small group of anti-abortion rights activists were still out there today handing out pregnancy resource information to anyone who would listen. There's still other women that need our help, and until they close down, we're going to be out here. As of today, abortions in Indiana can only be performed at hospitals in case of rape, incest, and to protect the life and physical health of the mother, but only before the 10th week of pregnancy. The ACLU has joined with the state's abortion clinics to try and block the law, but their case won't be up before a judge until Monday. Every day that abortions are not available is another day where women may be exceeding that limits and will not be able to get an abortion under any circumstances. Meanwhile, Planned Parenthood in Illinois is already preparing for an influx of new patients. A relatively new clinic in South Suburban Flossmoor and as of today, the Champaign Clinic expected to pick up much of the demand coming from Indiana. Before Dobbs, uh, there were around 5% of our total abortion patient volume came from states other than Illinois. Since Dobbs, it's risen to 30%. The near total ban was approved and signed into law last month by a Republican-controlled state House, Senate, and governor. The move energizing pro-abortion rights advocates and candidates across the state, including Hammond Mayor Tom McDermott, who is currently running for U.S. Senate. It's not acceptable what's happening right now, but this is a slippery slope. And if we don't correct the overreach, then what's next? That's very scary. It is expected by advocates on both sides of the issue that Monday's court hearing will result in an injunction being issued, temporarily blocking enforcement of the ban until the lawsuit is decided. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.